<laughs> I beg your pardon? She's a what? Oh, I've no longer any reason to conceal the fact. She's a fairy. A fairy? Well, but that would account for a good many things. <laughs> then I suppose you're a fairy. <laughs> I'm half a fairy. <laughs> 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 consider myself engaged to Phyllis. At first, I wouldn't hear it. It was out of the question. But I took heart. I pointed out that I was no stranger to myself. Then in point of fact, I had been personally acquainted with myself for some years. <laughs> this had its effect. I admit it. 
that I had watched my professional advancement with considerable interest. But I handsomely added that I yielded to no one in admiration of my personal and professional burdens. <laughs> this was a great point gained. I then endeavoured to work upon my feelings. I conceived my joy when I distinctly perceived a tear glistening in my own eye. <laughs> Eventually, after a severe struggle with myself, I reluctantly, most reluctantly, consented. <laughs> May not be, for so the fates decide. Learn thou that Phyllis is my promised bride. My bride? No, no. It shall be so. Those who would separate us will be
of a single word will do it. Let it stand that every fairy must die who don't marry a mortal. Oh. And there you have it. Out of your difficulty at once. We like your humor. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Private Willis? <laughs> Save my life, it is necessary that I marry at once. Will you be a fairy guardsman? Well, I don't think much for a British soldier that would not inconvenience himself to help a female in distress. You're a very brave fellow. You're a fairy from this moment. How <laughs> <laughs> say you? Will you join us? Oh, Sir Lord, with a house of peers comprising exclusively persons of intellect, I really don't see what use we are around here, do you? None whatever. No. Well, good. Oh, oh, oh. 